And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Zillion Vi. What we got here is going to be our first uh, Kyrian Sump Works Sump Worker deck. This card looks really cool. It looks really interesting. This this new card in Piltover and Zahn, two mana, one two elusive, and then whenever and so like that's okay. That's not like that great of a card. A two mana, one two elusive, and that's what the first one's going to be. But when you summon another one, then you obliterate this one and then you take the second one and turn it into and every other one of these sump workers everywhere into the sump works posse and now we're talking now it's a 4-2 elusive which is huge and then also attack it has um deal one to all the enemies in the enemy nexus right so it's like a nivea <laughs> whenever um whenever it gets to attack pretty awesome card so we're gonna be trying this card out um, we're going to, of course, put it with Iterative Improvement that will be able to copy it. Uh, so we can have another one there. Um, and that's important that, like, the copy gets the plus one, plus one. And remember, this says, like, the first one gets obliterated. And so then uh, the second one with the plus one, plus one will be able to stick around. Um, yeah, so two mana, Elusive, Anivia. Um, but then we're going to put that with a lot of card draw because we want to find those uh, Kyrian Sump Works. So we're going to have, like, Preservarium in here, Zonite Urchin. Um, Sump Dredger, a lot of things drawing cards, and since we're drawing a lot of cards, then we're going to be, uh, then we're going to have um, Zillion in here also creating the time bombs. Now Zillion costs two, time bomb costs two, Sump Worker costs two, lots of things cost two. So we're going to have a copy of Insightful Investigator here for us to be able to, um, you know, keep rifling through the deck and be able to get more, uh, more cards for some more card draw there. Also one copy of Zevi, uh, so that. If we draw a card we create a fleeting copy of it so that means that like we'll have two each one time bomb will be two time bombs they could level up a zillion you know one sump worker will be two sump workers um which of course you know like that's important so we got one zevi in here also um besides that we just got some other like re removal we have ballistic bot creating ignitions for us to discard for these other things oh we are also playing counterfeit copies a spicy one so we can put more sump workers into our deck or more time bombs into the deck depending on which one we go with. That's a spicy one there. And uh, that's going to be it. And then Vi's going to control the board. All right, so Zillion Vi, we'll see how this does. We'll go play our five games in ranked. Okay. We're playing against a zero, really, huh? Pretty, pop pretty popular deck right now. These two spells are going to go ahead and go, and I'm not sure about Vi. I'm going to keep Vi, actually. Let's, let's keep Vi. I'm not sure if we're going to have time for this counterfeit copies for this matchup. Not sure what I want to do. Humanity is obsolete. I feel like if I Mystic Shot this Aurelia, they're going to just protect it. But by playing another Ballistic Bot, they can't really attack with the Aurelia because we have the 2-4 to block it. Of 
course, with them picking that up, that means they're not picking up the Dancing Droplet, so that's good. The desert by my side. I dance not to forget, but to remember. Vi stands for violence. See if this works. My okay. Homeland. I really it down. There's the one two punch. And of course, with Vi having tough, an easy block there. Oh, no, 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 no. I wanted to block. Oh, I just accidentally clicked. Uh. All right. Well, I should be at eleven. Should be at eleven. So I can either get Zevi in play or, you know, play a whole bunch of other stuff and, like, grow these things a lot. I guess I should... I guess I need to start being more aggressive. So I'm getting this Vi up towards leveling up. Yeah, time bomb. Some treasure's not bad. Is that better than a random card? It'll be seven mana. We have seven mana next turn. We go some treasure because we can discard one of these ignitions. Um, or I just take a random card. I think some treasure is probably better than a random card. Yeah, and I'm gonna have them waste all their mana. Like, yeah, Homecoming, definitely a card worried about. Yep, that's what they had. They wanted me to attack and they were gonna use that mana. I guess we're kind of dead. What now? 
I was at 11, not 9. I need a block there. Oh dear. GG's. I think I need to be more aggressive from turn from turn two on, right? I just I think I need to be a, a lot more aggressive, like with ballistic bots, like attacking a lot more. First time didn't work out. Let's try it again. Well. Okay, so this time we actually, we do have a sump worker, which is great. You know, like that's what we want. And so we're going to go ahead, like this is what our counterfeit copies is for. It makes us down a card, but this is what it's, you know, like, this is what it's in our deck to do. You know, it's interesting if I didn't, um, I guess, you know, I could have maybe taken the Merciless Hunter. If I didn't play, you know, now that we drew the improvement, if I didn't didn't play that other card, then, you know, I could have had the Sump Workers on two and then copied it on three. But we had the attack token turn four anyway. You know, I just wish I would have played the other one instead of Zillion on turn two, because then I could add Merciless Hunter on turn three for that Azir. So playing the Zillion on turn two hurt, because otherwise I'd be able to kill Azir this round. Yeah, this card's pretty busted, the 5-3 elusive Anivia, but still... <laughs> this deck that we're playing against is so good that I don't, you know, I don't even know if we're ahead.
Yeah. I don't even know if we're ahead. Okay, got another one of those. Any counterfeit copies? To the streets! Show them the might of our army! Shows of power excite the people and quell our enemies. Try to have Merciless Hunter kill the Inspiring Marshal. Dang. Yeah, I guess that thing just trades with the posse. Unless I kill it with my Merciless Hunter, but then they keep Inspiring Marshal, and I can't really let that happen. Gross. There's drawn more cards. I mean, Thermo didn't kill Marshall. I had five mana, and Marshall is a four six. We love it when they run. That's right. Run. What you have seen today. Gross. Sharima, your emperor has returned. These cards are pretty big. Your emperor commands. These cards are really big. We are part of something more. Together, you are children of Shurima. I'm doing this my way. Show them no weakness. Arise! Of course, should Marshall go to five health? Yeah, I mean, six, six health for a five drop is, you know, like, that's champion size, like a four six. It's kind of the thing is... The order is given. Arise! We were born in the first land, and we will defend them until the end. They attack again with this Aurelia. Game three over. We had an awesome hand, and we got annihilated. Like, it wasn't even close. And our hand was about as good as it can be. Oops, I'm at 0 and 2. Now my opponent's hand was perfect. Every single round they had the best cards they could have. And so that's kind of shows something there. But yeah, we, we just got annihilated. Inspiring Marshall was a big part of the Lucian Azir deck as well. It it didn't just show up like this metagame. Cheap cards. Alright, it's going to be a time bomb game. I'm feeling it. Let's get some time bombs. Oh, yes. 
Time bomb. Okay, no time bomb, but we'll take the sump works. I should have gone counterfeit copies last round. We love it when they run. See what we see. So Look at my counterfeit copying is the sump worker. Spend that mana. Time bomb. Get rewarded. The KPI is depending on me. Lose four mana if they pass. You serve me. Your time and cycle is done. Use play Zevi to block with Zevi. You dream it, I'll build it. good for me that that was their only attack. I guess they didn't want anything to die to the Zevi.
we can deal this Nasus? If we just knew that we weren't dying this round... Problem is not is actually not dying this round. If we knew we weren't dying, you know, like we'd be able, we could, I guess we could have made like two sump workers, but this just isn't gonna work. I don't, I don't see any way I can stay alive. Yeah, Zevi, we almost had it. NASA strikes again. I'm sorry to say, time isn't really an illusion. So I can I can make a copy of Merciless Hunter, but then you know we only have two blockers. Like they just challenged the two fearsome blockers again. I can make another sump workers, then make that so that can block. But that again, they just challenged both of those. Um, I can kill one, but they challenged the other one. Dang. It's not yeah, AoE removal hasn't really been the problem for us, you're saying like is is time bombs and posse enough AoE removal. It's these big these big things. Azir Azir and Nasus have kind of been the problem. We just, they're too big. We don't have efficient removal for them. I don't know why puppy's just barking at the back door. Just a second. She's not stopping. <laughs> not sure if Ballistic Bot should be the play. All right, found another sump worker. I am superior life form. This is definitely going to be more of our our kind of matchup. Wow, not even killing Zillion. The other dog just scratching the chair, jealous that I'm petting puppy. Thresh is going to challenge the posse, of course. Can't really stop that.
Jackson! Hello. Jackson Howard, thanks for the Twitch Prime sub, I appreciate that. And welcome to the channel, Jackson Howard, thank you for that support. Alright, double time bomb it is. Get Thresh out of here, get leveled up Zillion. Use Cooling Strike on my Ballistic Bot instead of Zillion. They may be feeling a little silly about that right now. Play the one drop so I can play Vi. I'm doing this my way. Oh, they had another cooling strike for Zillion. Wait. I don't need a this. Play it and play the improvement to level up the Vi. All right, so we have our Preservariums to help us refill. And if we find a Zillion, it's leveled up. Basically making it so Vi doesn't just die to any like the Scorched Earth type effects. Keep them from drawing too. Zillion Vi, I mean that that's our donation deck. These these were all viewer submitted donation decks for today. Alright, I think we can just I guess we discard the counterfeit copies, but the copies can I don't know, we have some good stuff that we could copy if we find it, you know, like Finding another Zillion, or Time Bomb, or the last Chimera card. Or Kyrian, or whatever, whatever the name of that card is. Kyrian. No, we'll just, we'll just discard it. Ugh, could've got more Time Bombs. That's how I get rewarded, could've had more Time Bombs. I know. That's how it's been going, Puppy. We get rewarded. I like a lot of ballistic bots. Ten. Oh, yeah! Okay, Jillian Zillion. Once I step papers, now faces. Flesh was weak. Because of ruination, I'll just play two of these right now. Which I guess I still I could have just improvement to did, but maybe we were gonna improve in something else. Okay, that is the fourth time bomb. We have no more time bombs in the deck. All right, but that'll do. Yep, just getting the extra damage from the bots. All right, it worked. Stands for 
victory. It all worked. A win. A win's a win. What do you think, Poppy? Was that a win? Puppy, why are you dozing off? Didn't you think that didn't you think that was a good win? I like it. I like the sand. Oh, I wish we had the attack topic on turn three. We don't, do we? We're not good against turn one Teemo, I guess. And I guess, like, Teemo with this stuff, like, they're either, like, real aggro or they're, like, puff cap deck. And, like, maybe Inve maybe Insightful Investigator is not great against that. But, I don't know. Insightful Investigator is pretty awesome. No, not turn one Teemo. Mm. Oh, I should have mulliganed. More looking for an answer for turn one Teemo. Time bomb. See, like that, that animation that like shows the time bombs. It's like putting them there. Always like messes me up because I'm always like, ooh, we we could find a time bomb, but it's not the case. All right, so I can quicksand. Like they open attack with Teemo, I quicksand it and then block with my one four. Um, yeah, I guess so. The way is always the same. At once. Oh, you think they're stalking shadows, Kyrian? That is a cool combination. Yeah, I like that. Safety disengage. We love it when they run. It's not exactly legal, but it is exactly awesome. <laughs> well, Funsmith is super scary. Time bomb. I'm one mana short from improvement there, Funsmith. And play time bomb. Six. We don't have any Nexus healing, do we? I don't think we do. No refunds. Oh, I don't get the I don't get the good one? Why would I not get Sumpworks Posse? Uh 
That's lame. I should get some pork spicy. Shouldn't have kept this investigator. Time waits for no one. No one but me. Only four life. It's technically only three life. How do we keep on drawing like, you know, we have like no puff caps. How do we keep drawing them? So this is kind of cool that, you know, like Zillion will make more Sunforks bossies for us. Uh, I guess we're dead. I don't think there's any card that saves me. They got exactly lethal. Yeah, unlucky with those puff caps. I tried being polite. Make haste. Unlucky with those puff caps, unfortunately. Coming to save the day. What a wreckage. Dang, and, and Zillion was going to be able to make more counterfeit copies for us, put more cards, you know, more of those, um, those sump works back into our deck so that, you know, we get go farther away from the puff caps too. That's burned us out. If only I would have mulliganed the insightful investigator. Maybe, you know, maybe we would have mulliganed that and gotten like a mystic shot or something that would have saved me a little bit more damage before. Um, but there's definitely some cool things that we got to do in here. I thought, like, the, the Sump Worker did look pretty cool. And, you know, like, got to do some cool time bomb stuff. It's, um, you know, our deck's not perfect yet. And the first three decks that we played, you know, are incredibly good, right? Aurelia, Azir, and, Thr and Thresh Nasus are just beasts of a deck. And just, you know, trying to, just trying to experiment with some some stuff, it's it's difficult to to beat those decks. So no no shame in losing those. You know, I know that those are our first three losses. Um, like that's, you know, our deck's not on the same power level as those. Um, but real close, yeah. We, we had some we had some uh, close games though, especially that last one, super close. And uh, yeah, then we played against the the Swain. Thresh deck, and we were a little bit better there. These re these regions just don't have a good answer to Nasus or Azir. Both Azir and Nasus are are really like. If y'all watch on YouTube, you got any ideas for like what we're supposed to do against Azir and Nasus? Y'all feel free to let me know. I got a couple of quicksands in here to try to help against Nasus. So that, that was the best I came up with, but. Um, yeah, there's there's like some yeah there's definitely some potential here. There's a lot of good stuff with with Piltover and Zon, and I, I think this is a real card, the Sump Worker. I think this is a real card. I think we just gotta keep experimenting with it and figure it out. But maybe you can't really play these two regions together um, unless you're like super aggressive and could be faster than those other two decks. But that doesn't seem very realistic. Because maybe you have to have like a region that can answer Azir, or a region that can answer Nasus with Sump Worker. And with Zillion, you know, and maybe you can't play Sumpurger and Zillion together for for now. Um, but there's some stuff here with with Insightful Investigator, though. Insightful, like maybe like that's like the thing to do is just kind of build around Insightful Investigator more. Like all these two mana cards. I don't know. Stuff to think about. Stuff cool cool things to think about. Those you know interesting games, for sure. Um, yeah, deck's not quite there yet, but, um, 
you know, first first couple of days, like our very first time playing this Sump Worker card, we can't really expect the deck to be perfect right now, right? Um, except, you know, yeah. So it's it's okay that it's not that it's not you know quite there yet, but it's um, it was a, it was impressive. It wasn't it was not difficult to turn this into the posse. It was honestly pretty easy to turn that into the posse. All right, but that's going to be it here for Zillion Vi. So those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And as always, feel free to leave those comments. Uh, let me know what you think of the deck and you got other ideas, um, you know, with, with this kind of stuff. You know, I'm always, I'm always uh, listening. So, yeah, let me know over there on YouTube. But thank you so much for watching some Zillion Vi, and I will see you for the next video.